Fentanyl is the most dangerous and deadly drug out there right now. Sergeant Bill Sofianos would know. He spent the last five years as the supervisor of Clark County's Regional Drug Task Force, a county where last year alone 57 people died from fentanyl-related causes. On this night, that message is center stage at Fort Vancouver High School. The audience, parents and kids from all over Clark County hoping to learn more. Josh Gutierrez drove down from Kelso and brought his 10 and 12 year old sons. I don't want them going into middle school and high school with just being unaware. So that when it comes up and it becomes, it becomes an issue, you know, at least I can speak intelligently to my boys about it and to their friends who may not be going to presentations like this. Fentanyl has already had a deadly impact within local school walls. Last year, a KGW investigation uncovered the death of a Hudson's Bay High School student. The girl's mom says the young victim was 16 when she overdosed on fentanyl in a bathroom stall last May. Public records show a school nurse and a medical responder both used Narcan to keep the girl alive, but she died six days later in the hospital. Tragedies, we want to do better, you know, we want to better support families and kids. Vancouver Public Schools Superintendent Jeff Snell says this series of public presentations is part of that response. An invitation for families to learn about how deadly fentanyl is, what the synthetic opioid looks like, and how it's being marketed to kids. It's scary to have students um, exposed to this and the concerns are, are real and so they shouldn't feel alone. Last year, the Drug Task Force seized over 135,000 suspected fentanyl pills in Clark County, each one a potential bullet in what's become a game of Russian roulette with narcotics. I don't know people understand how deadly this is. And they can't say it enough. The nationally CDC talks about one pill can kill is because it is that deadly. Tonight's presentation will be available to watch online. And for those who'd rather hear it in person, you'll get another chance this Thursday at the Evergreen High School Auditorium. A separate presentation in Spanish will also be available that night at the Evergreen High School Student Center. In Vancouver, Katherine Cook, KGW News.